I'm a child of the 80s. Some would argue the greatest time to be a kid. It just felt like there was a lot of magic during that time. Some of the best science fiction movies, strange hair, bright colored clothes, and above all, video games. The arcade. Was there anything more exciting for a kid than the arcade? Well, you awesome geeks, today we're back and we're going to build an arcade. a lot of leftover half inch MDF from our Nostromo build when we cut out a lot of the doors. MDF is super heavy, so I, I wanna use MDF because plywood right now, especially the good plywood, is super expensive. Half inch MDF is still reasonable, and I have a lot of scraps. So although it's gonna be heavy, uh, I won't have to deal with the wood grain. I can get this to a nice finished paint. And again, I have the pieces. Even though I've drawn this up in uh, Fusion, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pieces I have and I'm gonna take what I've designed and I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda lay that out with measuring and using rulers and that kind of thing. And then we can cut out the main shape. I'm gonna use plans and winging it and combine them together to see what happens. ready to drill holes. Whenever you drill through things like that with a bit, you want to have something on the back side. That way you don't blow out the material and have a whole big mess on the back end of this. There you go. No blowout. And now my least favorite part, the uh, jigsaw. Perfectly straight as a crooked line. Okay, we've managed to cut out a frame here. I think at this time we're gonna bust this apart and take the tape out, and then we'll build the frame on the inside for the monitor and the bottom of the cabinet to hold the computer and stuff. I really love using that tape to hold things together like that, but I have had instances like I'm having right here. What I'm gonna do is throw a little CA glue in here and seal this down as best I can, and then we'll sand it, and by the time things are painted and whatnot, we should be able to protect it. Now this build isn't actually for me. It's for my amazing nephew, Brody. That little man loves video games. And so for Christmas this year, I really wanted to build him his very own arcade machine. Now, I'm a little bit late in the delivery of this machine, but better late than never. Brody, I hope you enjoy this machine half as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Love you, buddy.
things off camera. You can see I put a stretcher in, I put one down low as well, and then I put these two blocks here in the center and that holds that center piece up, the frame itself. I want to take a moment to give the biggest thank you I can to Ron from the CG Artist YouTube channel. Ron is a true wizard when it comes to building arcade machines, both the physical cabinets and all the electronics and components needed to make it work. He spent countless hours helping me with this project, and there's absolutely no way I could have built it without him. I've linked to his channel and his arcade build below. Go over and give him some love. He's a great guy, has some brilliant plans coming, so you'll want to be subscribed when he rolls out the next project. I guarantee it. Thank you, my friend. So much appreciated. wiring is in on both of these 
it looks a little messy. Really all the jumper cables and everything for each of the buttons is really short and they're all kind of daisy chained together. So as much as I'd like it to look cleaner, there's not really a whole lot of slack to do that. And it keeps it all contained. things that I had to make the decision on was that I didn't have enough of the matte black acrylic and I also wanted some glossy elements to it because it's an arcade game and I only had clear acrylic so what I've done is I sprayed the backs of the side panels with flat black primer and then hit that with a sealant and then that way on the front it's nice and glossy and there's some depth to it and then none of the paint can get chipped or damaged and that still gives you the glossy look so if you're in a bind and you don't have the color acrylic you want, but you have clear, you can always spray the back sides of them and then you get a nice glossy finish. Just thought I'd point that out. your paint my friends friends don't let friends paint with cold paint put labels on all of our buttons. All right, now we got a button. So I rewired all of the buttons and the joystick. I tried to do that as cleanly as possible. I installed a surge protector in here. It's just a power strip. 
And then I wired up a small amplifier that I also wired to a pair of speakers. You could use any number of types of speakers. I'm gonna link a few in the description below. I just happened to have these and repurposed them. I put the uh, display in there and put my rudimentary mount in place. It's not glamorous, but from the front, you'll never know. You know what's funny, and I'm thinking about this as I'm putting all these panels on, is the crazy amount of hex head bolts I'm using on this project. What's even more funny is that I bought this case of M5 bolts on Amazon on some crazy super sale right around Thanksgiving. Actually, I bought three of them and they were like $12 a piece. I don't, there's 450 bolts and nuts in this case. So for 12 bucks, I'm totally okay with it. stickers from Ado and Derek. I'll put a link in the description where you can get these. And there's a couple of these here. Warning, non-pressurized, cool stickers like that we're gonna put on here. I didn't intend for this cabinet to be so empire themed when I started out. It just sort of happened that way. So I rolled with it. That said, even though the empire is usually associated with clean floors and not a lot of grime, I think a subtle amount of weathering is needed. It doesn't have to be filthy, but it gives a project the feeling that it's been used and it really adds the correct look. Now, before we show you the final results of this project, I wanna take a second to thank our Patreon community, the Smugglers Guild. Without you guys, we really can't take on and build projects like this. More than that though, you have all been incredible supporters of Chris and I and what we're trying to do. And that's been especially true over the last couple of months. So we just wanted to spend a second to tell you how much we appreciate each and every one of you. beyond excited with this machine and the build. Another big thank you to my friend Ron. You made this a blast to make and I can't wait to see what my nephew thinks of it. I like it so much in fact that I'm designing another one for our room build. However, if you want to see that one, you're going to have to hit the subscribe button and come back the next time we build something out of nothing. <laughs>